at the moment, when it comes to religious freedom and the culture warring, we have masses of good academic studies. No need for any more there. We've got hundreds of people protesting what's wrong, monitoring uh, violations and so on. We don't need that much more there. We need to keep on doing it. The tragedy is the missing lack of a constructive vision of how to go forward. And the trouble is, in the bitterness of the culture warring, no one's interested in that. They're just interested in how the other side is wrong, how we can use the other side's error to lift ourselves a bit for the next election or whatever. No one's interested in a constructive solution. So my passion is to try and create a vision of a constructive solution, and I would hope at some point some national leader, and America's greatest problem today is lack of national leadership. Some national leader will be like a Lincoln and say, in effect, a plague on both your houses. Here is a better way forward for America in the light of our past, but also America showing a way for the whole world. So I would hope that some leader, now of course that would mean that some reviewer, some, some thinker like a David Brooks or someone like that would pick it up and make the point in the New York Times, the Washington Post or wherever at the moment, that lack of a constructive answer is the bottleneck.